Okay, so this is that is the uh, contact point or whatever you want to call it that connects to the starter relay, which is that little box down there. Let me bring it up into the sunlight. What I ended up doing is because it was it's so small and tight, I probably could have got away with using it too, but I figured it was it's comparative to the same. Uh, to the con you know the fancier contacts the newer ones so I wired that and it just tucks under here comes back this way and then loops again and that will be the uh, the first half of the positive line to the starter relay so you can see the uh, second wire I'm doing a couple of seconds I'm not using anything fancy yeah, you know, that's a great looking fancy connection and it's all oh, whatever, whatever. But, oh, another thing is I want to compare. I don't know what the stock wiring is, but let's give you an idea. The, uh, the upgraded line to, that's all, uh, this one is four and that one there is whatever the factory is. As somebody said online, it's like seven or eight. So, hopefully, this is going to resolve my issue. People are talking about upgrading batteries and all this other stuff. My only reason why I'm doing this is because when, the, when everything is hot, um, if I stop for whatever reason, let's say I stop at a drive-thru or something, and uh, you go to start it up, it, it won't start. It acts as if the battery's dead. Apparently, it's not getting enough electricity through these wires when they're hot. So somebody said go to the fatter wire and uh, even when they're hot the resistance will be not as dramatic and they should be able to get, get going without having to let the wires cool down and all that stuff. Plus it looks cool. It looks monstrous. So there's other reasons people say it about the battery. If you're upgrading battery it gives you more uh, cranking amps and all that other stuff but that was my issue. And it's not really hard to do. So. That's my reason for doing it. And here's my my fancy top of the line crimping tool. So do it however you want to do it. I saw a bunch of videos on there and how to whatever whatever. This is the um, the pieces that I'm using. They're, they're decent thickness, and they have the, uh, the little sleeve for uh, insulation and stuff. Even though I noticed. Strangely enough, if I can find the second, okay. On the uh, jumper cables, I mean on the uh, starter relay, there's no sleeve. It's just kind of just out there, just like that, you know? So I guess because there's plastic here or whatever, there's no threat of anything, you know, making contact with it, but I just thought it was interesting. On mine, I did put the, uh, the red sleeve on there to give it a little protection in case it needs it for whatever reason. Hopefully it doesn't. I guess if the geniuses at Suzuki decided that this didn't need a cover on it, that should be fine anyway. So, so that's the first half plus the other uh, ground, the negative. And now I'm going to be doing the the second line, which is still stock there, and that's going to go directly to the starter. I'm going to have to uh, lift up the gas tank. It's actually pretty simple. It's like a straight route. It's not not uh, snaked all over the damn place. But, um, okay, I guess that'll be in the next part. Let me, uh, I'm gonna try to do one wire so you can see. One thing that I did do was kind of line these up to see how they're gonna, how it's gonna fall so that I'm not twisting the wire while I'm, you know, at the contact points. So I kind of set it up and then figured where the contact point would be. And then I set it, I, I mounted the contact point to the wire, you know, without stressing the cable. In other words, the cable wants to be this way. So I put the contact point in line with it, as opposed to the cable wanting to be this way after snaking around and everything. And then I put the contact point to this at an angle or something, and now it's going to be stressed with the heat and all that other stuff. So just something to keep in mind. I don't know how great of a thought that was, but I figured it couldn't hurt, and it kind of makes sense. Something else to think of while you're working on this. Uh, I'll get back to you in a second.